Welcome to Fairytime Studios, bit of a weird one today, but I'm going to uh, explain to you how you can spray the end of your SM58 or a similar microphone. You may be thinking, why on earth would I spray my microphone? Say for example, there's a global pandemic and you think, well, I wanna know which one of my microphones is mine and which one, you know, whoever else in the studio uses. And if you spray paint the end, you can tell. I know you can put tape around it, but I've had tape in it before and it just sort of goes gunky over a period of time. Uh, we all use different color leads so you can tell whose is whose. But if you, all oh, the microphones get mixed up for whatever reason, because we go between studios or whatever. I know this one's mine because the end's pink, although it looks red. All you have to do to spray the end of your microphone, you could spray the body, but you have to use quite a lot of tape to sort of make sure no paint goes in the jack or uh, in a second I'll show you, you don't want it to go in the actual capsule. Just unscrew the end, that comes off, so you don't want paint going in here. So I have sprayed uh, a microphone before. It was an S a Stag STM70 that I um, did a mod on and resprayed so I could tell which one was modified. It was actually this color pink and I had this spray paint left over. This glittery pink spray, incidentally, it looks quite cool. There's a purple version, a black version, but sometimes the spray paint end gets all gunked up. So I would put a link, but it looks great, but sometimes you can't actually make it spray for long enough to actually spray something. So. I probably wouldn't recommend buying it to be honest. Inside this, before you just unscrew that and start spraying it, there is a piece of foam inside and it can be quite difficult to get hold of so I just blow through the edge of the mesh and it comes away and you can grab it so I did, I did work. Job done. So you get that little thing out, whoop, 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 whoop. bosh this outside on something, it's actually dented, I must have dropped it at some point, and then uh, spray it. Leave it for a, a day or two and then put that thing back in, whoop, it's really easy, it's like I've done this before. Another little side note, without the end piece on, it's an SM57, it's the same capsule, check the Sutshaw website if you don't believe me, and just screw it back on, and then you will forever know which microphone is yours. And I know you might think, well, you've made that look silly, but I don't care, I've had this microphone 15 years, I'm never gonna get rid of it. I know which one is mine, no matter which studio we go to, this one's mine. Job done. Although sometimes I do use it as an SM57 by unscrewing the end, so it would have been handy if I had sprayed the body. I just didn't, so yeah, hopefully that will help someone. Just makes your microphone look a bit more interesting as well, so. Guess which one's mine? Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. <laughs>